Oh my gosh. It is happening. Hi, it's happening. It is so good to see you. Are you feeling stratified right now? Oh, I see yeah, where you did that. Yeah. As as someone who grew up in Toronto. Yeah. And I mean, Which I'm- is something we've just recently learned. I've just recently learned that you're a Torontonian. I did not, had, I thought I knew all my Toronto peeps. I, I'm one of them. Huh. This is amazing. This is amazing. And I'm sure you hear this all the time, but I'm yeah, one of those. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm one of those who, you know, had a giant crush on you growing oh, okay. up. Yeah, no, I never heard that before. Okay. Never heard that. No, no, no one's ever told me that. That's, thank you so much. <laughs> you gave us the greatest gift this year of returning to WWE. I, I feel like we thought you were done. Yeah, I mean, I thought I was done. You never know. We always say you never know. But I've always said if the right opportunity or the right sort of, I don't know, I want to say a little, there's a je ne sais quoi moment, right, mm -hmm. that we can create. Uh, Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, to me, like, it's, you know, the, the matchup of the generations. I thought it was kind of cool. I wanted to make sure first before I decide to go and set forth on a program that I could still go. I've always said that I want to give 100% and not be like, here's my 60 guys, enjoy. You know what I mean? So, no, I, I mean, you couldn't just go. I think like you could make an argument that you were better now than you were back then. I, I mean, listen, I, uh, there is something about being in the business for this long. There's something about knowing the business. Uh, also, I think like it happened to me back in 2000, whenever I had injury, 2003, something like that. I stepped away from the business. I watched again as a fan, recognize what made me tick, what as a fan, what evoked an emotion, you know? Yeah. And so when I was able to watch for all these years now, going back, I was able to bring that and a different appreciation and different like perspective, right? So do you feel like being a mom has given you a different appreciation of how all of this works now? Yeah, as a mom, I'm like, let me see how many times I can bash my face on a, on a steel cage and see what sort of a, a contusion I can have nice. and make them freak out. Yeah, yeah no, it's definitely something I was thinking about. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I do. Of course, there's that thing of like, well, the kids like it, but I, there is this because it was a big decision as a mom to be like, okay, I'm gonna now go on the road week after week. Is that okay with my, can I leave my kids? Um, but then I was also showing them that mom's passionate about something. She's going after her dreams. She's doing something kind of cool and awesome. And uh, you know, that's important, right? They see me being yeah. fulfilled. It makes me a better person, makes me a better mom. So clearly the Fountain of Youth is located somewhere in and around Toronto? Yeah, GTA area. Really? Mm -hmm. yes. Could you maybe give me some directions to this? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's simple. You stay hydrated, my friend. <laughs> what, what, like, what's the deal? Yeah, honestly, I don't know. Like, my, my secrets, I mean, I do yoga. Like, I literally do it every day. And that's how I feel. I was able to move like I did in the rain, keeping your joints lubricated, et cetera. Uh, I, I drink, I just stay hydrated. I mean, it sounds funny, but it's something that's so based. It's just stay hydrated, kids. That's the secret. And then you can do a cage match. <laughs> do you think about what your last match would be and who it would be against? What, you mean the one I'm going to, or the one I've already had? What are you saying? That's it? It's over? I don't oh. Know. I don't know. We're done? I, I mean, you know, I did listen. When I embarked on the journey, came back for WrestleMania, let's do this little program, and then suddenly Heel Trish had to come alive, and then it just kept going and going and going. Um, I got to do things I didn't get to do, right? Ladder match, Saudi Arabia, just cage match, right? So um, yeah. to be able to, like, just dip my toes into the current landscape yeah. and then check boxes that I wasn't able to check back in the day was pretty amazing. So, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I could become, what, eight-time champ sounds good to me. I'm just, I mean, why not? Why not? I love that you were wearing the same attire from back then, but rocking it even better. Okay, yeah. But like different, you know, it was yeah, like an know. updated version, oh, like, like modernized. Paying homage to it. Yeah. I was like, yeah. how iconic is it to pay homage to yourself? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's cool. Listen, that was one of my favorite things was going back and having those callback moments. And of course, there's a whole generation of new fans. So they're just like, wow, that's cool. But then the other ones were like, oh my God, that's the time. So it's like, if you know, you know, one of those ones, right? So that was super cool to do that. And people were loving that, the little callbacks, the mask, et cetera, right? I love the kids. The kids were like, oh, she's she's like Cody Rhodes with the mask. I'm like, mm, is she? Or is Cody Rhodes like Trish Stratus? Uh -huh. <laughs> so what brings you here tonight? Um, there's a little movie in town. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called The Iron Claw. Yeah, yeah I'm excited. This is, you know what? It's so nice to like, I've heard amazing, obviously I haven't seen it yet. I've just heard such great things about this movie. And uh, when we can bring our business forward and present it mainstream, um, it just, it feels really special knowing that like it's going to be presented in a different light, especially a family like this who deserves the spotlight. Um, it's really special. So to be here is, is really great. And I hope that like, you know, people have a new appreciation for what it is we really do. I feel like Zac Efron might be able to work a match after everything he's learned getting prepared for this role. Well, under the tutelage of, Sh of Chavo, yeah. Chavo's the best. Yeah. yeah, he is the best. He really is. He's done oh, you're work. the best. Well, I mean, we can argue. You know, no. nah. nah. Why would we do I'll that? I'll let you win. You smell great, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, it's hairspray, I think. It's, it's amazing. Or maybe 
her. I don't know. It's I don't could be. <laughs> could be the girl with the hat. Yeah, it could be. I want this to be part one of a much. I want you to come on this show. So I look forward to hopefully making that wow, happen. You're saying this here so that it has to happen. That's right. It's been stated yes. on air. So now stay tuned for part two, folks. It's going to be riveting. Yes. OK, I'll come to Toronto, visit the family. Okay. And if you have an extra, you know, 40, 45 minutes, 40, 45 minutes. OK, I'll look at my schedule. I know you're pretty busy. Yeah, you know, do a few things here and there, but I love it. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You were awesome. Didn't you want to say something to me? You. Thank you for the satisfaction. No, no, no. I kind of made a career about that. I was there saying I had a t-shirt made. It was, thank you, Trish. Thank you, Trish. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Trish. Oh, he did. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Such a natural. Oh, wait, don't move.